The question now, was the powder accidentally spilled or was it a sick prank? Somebody purposely put it there, you could tell that, but it's not like, it wasn't a mistake. You think somebody's trying to get out of the test? No, I think somebody was trying to just be an idiot. There was a lot scattered about. You don't normally see a brown or orange substance scattered about a building just outside of a doorway. There was a meeting and where it wasn't there before when people walked in. At Adelphi University, Rob Hoyle, Pix News at 10. Better news from the world of academia now. Nearly two dozen faculty members and students at St. John's University took it all off for a good cause today. Participants got their heads shaved on the Queens campus to help raise awareness for the fight against childhood cancer. The event was sponsored by St. Baldrick's Foundation and Locks for Love. That organization uses hair donations to make wigs for those who have lost their hair due to cancer treatments. People are so attached to their hair and like by doing something so simple like letting go of it, I can raise money that so hopefully people will meet my son days. That's a very beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Money raised by the event will go to cancer research. Well, one local woman says she has a new lease on life. Thanks to police officers who made sure she got through last week's monster storm and time to get her liver transplant. Peter Thorne has her harrowing story, which ended well. Thanks to some local heroes. At 11.30 last Thursday night, a terrible storm bearing down on the city and 59-year-old Mary Ann Steinbach of Atlantic Beach in Nassau County, desperately in need of a life-saving liver transplant, gets a call from doctors that a match has been found in Buffalo and would soon be flown to New York. It was like being in a movie. It was, like, it was surreal. It was like an out-of-body experience. 6 a.m. Friday morning. Mary Ann waits with her husband, Corey, for word that the donor liver has arrived. When it first happened, I think my wife went into shock and, and I said, this is it, let's go. 7 a.m. Friday, the donor liver is safely removed and headed downstate. 8 a.m. Friday, the liver is in the city, bound for Montefiore Hospital in the Bronx. Marianne is told to get to the hospital as soon as she can, so the liver will still be viable for transplant. But there's a big problem, that blizzard amazing amounts of snow. Marianne couldn't get out of her driveway because of the snow that had piled up from the huge storm. For most folks, last Friday's snowstorm was an inconvenience, but for Marianne Steinbach, it could have meant life or death. We had to pick her up and get her into the Bronx during the height of the storm. Desperate for help, Marianne calls emergency officials. Four officers come to her rescue. A joint Nassau County PD, NYPD, Mission of Mercy. Using four-wheel drive vehicles, the Nassau County cops safely escort Marianne to the city line. That's where NYPD takes over, escorting Marianne through the blizzard to Montefiore. And when it's all said and done, in and around the tri-state area, 19 to 24 inches, city five boroughs to the north. 9 a.m. Friday, they arrive. Marianne's rushed into surgery, and the transplant is a success. This is a great experience, and I'm uh, glad that it all worked out for her. I can't thank them enough. It's every, everything involved for giving me a second chance at life. It's, it's a true miracle. I'm Peter Thorne. Pix News at 10. Wow, look at that smile. That's a great story. Well, we definitely are getting some snow tomorrow. We know that, but nothing like what Marianne went through last week and all the rest of us, right, G? No, no. This storm is not juiced up like the other one was, uh, but it will affect the rush hour and the PM hours. So let's get to it, everybody. We'll uh, show you what's going down here, and we will be in for some snow and also a bit of uh, flooding because we've got a full moon. Uh, it was full on the 28th, so we have an astronomical high tide. Again, a close flood advisory in effect. That's not. So Suffolk in Long Island, coastal New Jersey, coastal Connecticut, city five boroughs through Wednesday, 4 p.m. Now, the biggest story is the temperature is mild. That's good news. The ground is warm and the winds are light. That's good news. And the wind chill factor is not that severe. Temps in the low 30s. Now, we had a shot of moisture go by about 9 o'clock. Here's the problem. A lot of moisture is beginning to line up from Philly Point South. We're going to take you on radar on a tour to the middle Atlantic states with a mix in Washington and Baltimore. And now, now look at Virginia. A real swath of snow has developed there. The computers are picking up on this. And the question is, how close is this storm to the coast? Because this bright white that you're seeing is good moderate snows, though it has some lift to it across the Appalachians. 
how much of it gets in here. This is the model we are watching, okay? So come along with me up and over my shoulder, and we're going to check what we call the rapid precision model. It is 11 p.m. The mix is in the tri-state area, a little bit of rain. Now, we're going to take you to the rush hour early. Now, 3 a.m., which is really early, a little bit of a mix. So